Honorable Speaker of uh, Lok Sabha, Shri Om Birla Ji, Honorable Speaker of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly, Shri Thomas A. Sangma Ji, Honorable Deputy Chairman, Rajya Sabha, Shri Harivanch Narayan Singh Ji, the CPA India Region Zone 3 uh, Chairman, Shri Pasang D. Sonaji, all the respected uh, honorable speakers who are present out here, all the deputy speakers, all my cabinet colleagues, and all the cabinet ministers from different parts of the Northeast, all uh, our respected MLAs, our uh, Secretary General of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, and all the other officials who are present out here today. A very warm and cordial afternoon to all the distinguished guests gathered here today, and a heartfelt welcome to our beautiful state of Meghalaya. On behalf of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, India Region Zone 3, the state of Meghalaya is honored to host the 20th Annual Conference of CPA here in Shillong. On this occasion, we are honored to have Shri Om Birla Ji, the Honorable Speaker of Lok Sabha and CPA, India Regional Chairperson in our midst. On behalf of the people of Meghalaya, the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, and all of us present here today, I extend a warm welcome to you. Founded in 1911, the CPA is one of the oldest organizations in the Commonwealth. This association brings together its members with a shared commitment to promote the rule of law and, just, and pursue the ideals of parliamentary democracy. The association has a unique distinction of bringing together a large number of parliamentarians to promote knowledge of the constitutional, legislative, economic, social and cultural aspects of parliamentary democracy and of matters that pertain specially to the eight Northeast states, which are from CPA India Region Zone 3. The Northeast region, with its rich and unique culture, language, biodiversity, is now touted as the gateway to new opportunities and acts as a potential hub for India's trade relation with ASEAN nations. It possesses tremendous economic growth potential to bring India as a regional and global power. The region is a tranquil, timeless image of green hills which often conceals the region's predicaments. Through our shared efforts, we have been able to continuously tackle these issues and work in collaboration to emerge as the nation's powerhouse. This brings us to our key themes for today's discussion. Number one, natural disasters and strategies for management with special reference to Northeast region. And two, regional connectivity to bring Northeast region at par with mainland India. Our geographical location in a high seismic zone and mountainous terrain, coupled with the effects of climate change, leave our region prone to natural disasters such as floods, landslides, cyclones, droughts, and earthquakes. Heavy floods, landslides, cyclone droughts, and occasional earthquakes have now become regular occurrences. These calamities are always a setback to the pace of development, something that we need to encounter with a resolute determination and an effective response mechanism. This reminds me of the recent floods in the Garo Hills, where a timely and coherent approach was taken involving the government agencies, private sector organizations, non-profit, faith-based organizations, and volunteers. Their combined efforts resulted in a well-organized mechanism of channelizing the available resources to cope with the disaster and coordination, and coordinating the roles and responsibilities of responders in an effective manner. Our community institutions 
have to be similarly empowered so that they can act as first responders to save lives in any disaster. We need to document and study the impact of climate change so that we can make predictive models to understand how, climate, how changing weather patterns can impact our fragile ecosystems. I have, in the recently concluded G20 Summit on Nature Solves, advocated for setting up a center of climate change in the state of Meghalaya. The center can be a regional hub of excellence, gathering climate data and designing strategies for the entire Northeast region. The Meghalaya government is coordinating with the Northeast Space Application Center, Department of Space, Government of India, for an early warning alert system for cyclone, landslides, flood, and lightning. The state government also has also decided to use drone technology in disaster management and its mitigation. Our approach towards minimizing the effects of climate change encompasses comprehensive risk assessments, early warning systems, public education, and strict infrastructure standards. Preserving the ecosystem, establishing disaster response plans, pre-positioning resources, and fostering collaboration are essential. We are also building capacities involving communities and preparing for post-disaster recovery plan and continuously improving our plans based on lessons learned and advancements to ensure a proactive response, reducing the impact of disasters on lives, property, and the environment. Although our location has been creating hurdles to the pace of our development, but it also holds significant importance in terms of strategic, cultural, economic, and ecological aspects, leading to development of trade and commerce with ASEAN countries. This plays a vital role in improving the socioeconomic condition of the states of Northeast. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of India for the various strategies policy interventions, initiatives like Gati Shakti, Uran, infrastructure developments for the Northeast region. There are huge investments being made in key sectors like tourism, infrastructure, logistics, food processing, and others which are making this region a preferred investment destination. This brings me to the second topic of today's discussion, regional connectivity to bring Northeast region at par with mainland India. Northeast India is positioned to serve the Government of India's strategic vision encompassed in the Act East policy. The region has abundant deposits of oil, natural gas, coal, and limestone, and a sizable proportion of land under cultivation. Among the countries with which it shares a border, the majority of Northeast India's trade is with Bangladesh, while its trade with other neighboring countries such as Bhutan and Myanmar mostly occur through border points located outside the region. Meghalaya acts as a land bridge for India's participation in institutional forums, including the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multisectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation and the South Asia Sub-Regional Economic Cooperation Program. Leveraging upon its link with Bangladesh, Meghalaya has been focusing on improving trade activities at the border area. As part of this effort, border infrastructure shall be improved by establishing more integrated checkpoints along with land custom, custom station and border huts. In this direction, road connectivity along the Dauki Bholaganj Road and Tura Dalu Road are also being improved. We also are establishing integrated checkposts and border huts to promote economic activities. Through PMGSY, over 4,200 kilometers of rural roads have been constructed across the state. Through PM Gati Shakti, we are already connecting key economic hubs in the state. In line with this, we are, all, we are soon going to launch a new scheme to connect every single habitation in Meghalaya with roads. 
Currently, 18 major road projects are being implemented to connect Meghalaya with other states. We are even in, prog in process of establishing a direct, linked, a direct link with West Bengal through Mahendra Ganj Hilly Road. This will reduce a distance of 600 kilometers to just 85 kilometers and will foster trade and commerce. Today, with around 10,000 passengers every month, the Shillong Airport is directly connected to Delhi, Kolkata, Aizol, Agartala, Imphal, Dimapur, Dibrugar, and Guwahati. With the help of Government of India, we are now taking steps to upgrade the Shillong Airport to accommodate bigger flights. We have additionally requested the Ministry of Civil Aviation to declare the Shillong Airport as an international airport to improve direct connectivity with countries bordering the Northeast states, which will greatly boost the Act East policy. Thanks to the Government of India, under the Act East policy, several projects funded by the Ministry of External Affairs have been undertaken to connect Northeast states with neighboring countries like Myanmar and Bangladesh. This even includes the development of an economic corridor. Playing to the regional strength, industry and government partnership can scale up development of the region while maintaining the right balance and mitigating the threats that have existed traditionally. Adopting, la learning, adopting learnings from small countries of Europe and Asia that have significantly lifted up their economy with limited resources while protecting the flora and fauna shall take the Northeast region's e regional economy to higher levels. An integrated approach, greater cooperation at regional and local levels are essential for this development. I believe that a shared vision of costs and benefits through strategic planning and infrastructure interventions are key strengths for the development of the region. As we embark on this two-day conference, I envision a vibrant and intense exchange of views, knowledge, and experiences. We have great opportunities facing us despite the numerous challenges. With the support of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association members, we will channelize our focus areas by complying and following the decisions and resolutions that will be adopted in the conference. I will close my speech in the lines of Bernadette Devlin, former member of Parliament of the United Kingdoms. Kingdom. My function in life is not to be a politician in Parliament. It is to get something done." Unquote. And I'm sure this is the driving force for each of us here in this conference today. Once again, my best wishes for the success of this 20th Annual Conference of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association Conference. Thank you. Kublai.